People have been calling Apple's 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros the best laptops ever made, and we just got some new bombshell leaks pointing to Apple updating these systems sooner and even better than a lot of people are expecting, and I'm gonna dig into all those leaks and my reasoning for why these new MacBook Pros are gonna have three nanometer chips. Yes, three nanometer, not five nanometer, like a lot of people are expecting, and I'm gonna prove it to you in this video. Now, it all starts with Mark Gurman, who is by far the most reliable Apple leaker out there. He has a ton of leaks and an 86.5% accuracy rating for those leaks. Now, recently, he tweeted out that Apple's September event is happening on September 7th, with new iPhones and devices coming out on September 16th. Now, within the actual article itself from Bloomberg, he did say that it's looking like Apple is gonna be launching new Macs before the end of the year as it works on versions of the Mac Mini and MacBook Pro with M2-based processors. And he is, of course, talking about the higher-end 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pros, which a while back he showed that they're gonna have 12-core CPU and for sure 38 cores for the GPU as well as the Mac Mini. And back in July, last month, he did say that the M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros are expected between fall 2022 and spring 2023, which is what I initially thought. I thought it's gonna be coming in spring because they're on an 18-month cycle. And that's, of course, because the M2 MacBook Air came 18 months after the first M1 MacBook Air, and I think Apple's gonna follow the same cycle. But check out this bombshell leak that we just got. We literally just got this the other day. Three nanometer M2 Pro chip for the MacBook Pro is reportedly entering production later this year. That's from Taiwan's Commercial Times. Yes, they said it's three nanometer, not five nanometer. And if we dig in even closer to nine to five Mac's article, it says the report suggests Apple's M2 Pro chip will be the first product to feature this three nanometer technology. Yes, the first one and it's gonna be available in the second half of this year. Now, this is mind-blowing because I thought that if it is getting three nanometer, it's gonna be getting delayed until the spring, but apparently we can have both because a lot of people were saying it's coming this year with five nanometer, but imagine if it's both earlier and faster with three nanometer. And speaking of getting things done faster, have you ever needed to convert video files into a different Mac or Windows format? Well, we've been converting video files for years now using Wondershare's incredibly fast and optimized Unit Converter app, which now supports high-speed conversion with both lossless and GPU accelerated conversion, making it much faster than regular conversion. And Unit Converter can also compress over a thousand video and audio formats into smaller file sizes without losing much quality at all. Plus, it's got some new AI lab features as well, so check out Unit Converter 14 by using the link in the description below. And now getting back to the video, the whole three nanometer thing is not an old rumor because Shrimp Apple Pro did talk about it and he actually replied to the tweet from 9to5Mac talking about the three nanometer chip production with this kind of cool face with glasses saying that like, yes, I got this leak right because earlier, months ago in June, he did say that people keep believing that any three nanometer SOC or chip will be of the M3 series, but no, he says the M2 Pro and Max will get three nanometer. That was back in June. And along with that, he also said, I don't know where people think three nanometer will be for only the M3, which is not gonna come out in 18 months and not for the M2 and Pro Max. So he's implying that yes, the M2 Pro and the Max are getting three nanometer as well. Now, back in June on 27th, after he talked about that, we got a leak from DigiTimes saying that the upcoming M2 Pro chip is gonna be on three nanometer, including for the Mac Mini as well. And then going back even further, June 7th, we had a report from Jeff Poo saying that TSMC is starting mass production of new three nanometer M2 Pro chip later this year, and he was correct because we did get those reports a couple of days ago saying that TSMC is beginning three nanometer chip production next month in September. So Jeff Poo was right about the three nanometer chip 
production. Now, if we actually look at what TSMC themselves were saying, they said that TSMC's first 3 nanometer class node is called N3 and is on track to start high volume manufacturing in the second half of this year. Actual chips are said to be delivered to customers in early 2023. This technology is mostly aimed at early adopters, read Apple and the like, who can invest in leading edge designs and would benefit from the performance, power, area advantages offered by leading edge nodes. So Apple's gonna be basically the first customer, and yes, that was confirmed earlier this morning, Apple's gonna be the first to use TSMC's three nanometer process, which means they gotta have some kind of products coming sooner than later, which is why I think it might even be possible to come later this year, but more likely in the spring. And the main reason for that is because Intel's 14th gen Meteor Lake was supposed to get some three nanometer node parts from TSMC TSMC to put into their integrated GPU, but no, it was dropped because Intel is delaying those chips until 2024, most likely. So Intel is no longer going to be using TSMC's three nanometer node production, and that's why Apple is going to be taking advantage of that. Now, along with that, we actually got a pretty interesting leak from the forum user on Mac Rumors, Moissanite and he gave us some crazy information about the higher end M2 chips going into the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro and Mac mini from a friend with early access to a prototype. Now he says, Apple is currently testing two models of these chips. One is gonna have a 12 core CPU with three nanometer, yes, three nanometer. There's gonna be eight high performance cores, two middle performance, yes, because this new FinFET technology has three different optimizations for the actual three nanometer cores themselves. So two middle and then two high efficiency cores as well. So this is gonna be really interesting and Apple's probably gonna make a big deal in terms of the marketing. Now he says that this version on three nanometer is gonna be 10% faster than the other M2 Pro and Max version while being 35% more efficient as well, which is crazy. And he says, if this is gonna be the final M2 Pro chip model, then Apple's gonna announce it sometime in March or April 2023, which is 18 months after this 16 inch MacBook Pro came out with the M1 Pro and M1 Max. And that totally makes sense and it lines up what I think and it also lines up with TSMC's own timelines. Now the other M2 Pro chip model is based on the regular M2 that we have now with eight high performance cores and four high efficiency cores with the N5P five nanometer process, the same as the M2. And if that's the final model, then it's gonna be announced and come sometime in November, 2020. Now he did say that the GPU is going to be a 20 core for the M2 Pro and the M2 Max is going to have a 40 core, which is going to be awesome. He said that there is going to be bend models like a 30 core for the M2 Max and a 16 core for the M2 Pro, and that makes sense. But he also says that it's going to have a better media encode and decode engine than the M1 Pro and Max, and it's going to have 300 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth for the M2 Pro and 600 for the M2 Max, and the Apple is not working on the M2 Ultra yet. And he said the Mac Mini's only gonna get the optional M2 Pro option, while the 14 and 16 inch will get the M2 Pro and the M2 Max. So that makes sense in terms of those leaks. Now, the reason why I think Apple's gonna go with the three nanometer option of the M2 Pro and M2 Max is because I don't think the five nanometer version is gonna cut it. And the reason for that is because we tested the 24 core versus the 32 core GPU M1 Max chip within the 14 inch MacBook Pro. And we discovered that the 14 inch thermal throttles like crazy, even with the M1 Max chip. As you can see right here, the 32 core version within the 14 inch chassis is slower than the 16 inch 24 core version. So even though you have a faster GPU with more cores, it was actually slower because of thermal throttling. So it's basically using too much power that's causing too much heat within the 14 inch chassis. And the reason that matters is because we've been testing the M2 chip in the MacBook Pro and we discovered that the M2 chip uses 33% more power on average than the M1 while in a Cinebench run. 
and that only led to 13% more actual score or performance. So basically the M2 chip is overclocked to the max using a bunch of extra power to try to squeeze out more performance. Now imagine if that 14 inch is already thermal throttling and then Apple upgrades it to the five nanometer overclocked version of the M2 Pro, that's gonna use even more power and it's gonna thermal throttle even more than it already is right now. And I don't think Apple is gonna be okay with that. They're gonna try to make the three nanometer chip work as much as they possibly can. And then to add another reason, the final one, I actually did an interview with Mark Gurman and he talked about what he expects for the M2 Pro and M2 Max 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. And he says he does not expect the design to change at all. He said it's mainly gonna be a chip swap and maybe some internal specs are gonna get upgraded and that's it. So if Apple is not gonna change anything about the features or design, they're just gonna upgrade the chip mainly, I don't think the five nanometer version of the M2 Pro and M2 Max is gonna cut it. I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna be that much faster. I think Apple needs the marketing of the first three nanometer chip to make that very popular and to get people to upgrade to those new MacBook Pros. So because of that, I am almost 100% sure that these new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips are gonna be on TSMC's three nanometer process and that is gonna make them a whole lot better than a lot of people are expecting. And that's why you should probably wait if you're considering buying one of these and you actually have time to wait, you probably should. So if you totally disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one and check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.